I'm Mark Dosh. Welcome to San Anita Park where the clouds have opened up just ahead of the grade two $150,000 San Carlos. Older males sprint seven furlongs on a wet fast main track. We're off to the races. Captain Cherokee, Supreme Summit from the outside, Ventana in the red, very fast, now Ventana kicks on to lead them. Here's Mythical Power, a joint third at the rail, Smiling Tiger's taken back on the Supreme Summit and still at the back of Stacey's home. Heads to turn five, Ventana on the outside of Captain Cherokee at the rail, but now again yeah, comes Mythical Power and Smiling Tiger on the grandstand side, for the lineup. Ventana, Captain Cherokee, Mythical Power right from the outside, Smiling Tiger, grandstand side coming up. Smiling Tiger using new taxis, tactics today from off the pace under jockey Joel Rosario. Oh, No, no. He told me to send it to the lead, but okay. right when he worked out of the gate, he stumbled. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe he don't have a first trade or something happened. I know he's broke back. And, and, yeah. You know, I just saw. Uh, I just let him sign on, you know, the yeah. last because if I race after that, you know, I don't right. when, you know what I mean? So but he do good, you know, he's a nice horse, he's a classic horse. You know, he showed me today he can come from off the pace too. Yeah. Yeah. So he can do anything. Do you always feel you had a horse going down the backside? Well, I kinda, you know, like set the ground a little bit and uh, you know, I just hoping, you know, like he finished for me what good you know because you know but he after he broke like this you know i don't know if he he ever run from behind before so you know i just let him comfortable you know find a place like some way like you know that they're not hitting in the face something like that you know but he showed me he's a good horse so he's yeah. this is a top spreader yeah you know, uh, yeah, he rode a professional race. He, he did what he had to do when the situations arise, and uh, the horse responded to him. There's not much to say. What do you got in mind beyond this? You know, uh, we've ran the horse enough. Every uh, time. We'll uh, take a little spacing. Uh, I'm not sure. He's nominated to Dubai, but I'm, I'm thinking, you know, he's a chance for a stallion prospect. So my, my big goal, whether the owner's goal is not, is to run the horse in the Metropolitan Mile. There might be one race before that, but I don't know where it'll be. That's a good one. All right, thanks, Jeff. Congratulations. Hey, Jeff. I know before the last race you were upset at how the horse was handled at the gate and being dragged in the gate by his ear, and maybe you felt that Russell didn't get the same respect that he deserved. Oh, no, no, not no? at all. It had nothing to do with the rider. When a horse gets crazy in the gate, that's what people have to do. For whatever reason, our horse was uncomposed that day, and today he was back on his game and he ran his race. Why did you decide to uh, use Rosario instead of Russell? Uh, because it was a last minute decision to run in this race. I had nominated three horses in this race, and riders get booked and this and that. And uh, he's not riding here. And when we went last second, I just went for the best rider I could get. Well, yeah, you ended up with the best rider. Congratulations. Thank you.